come back from Tenerife last night come back about 11 o'clock sun's out so we thought we'd have a first ride of 2023 but before we go anywhere we need fuel Thought that was a duck then. This is the first time we've had uh, cameras on since 2018. I used to film everything. Just got a bit tired of it. I haven't got time to edit the videos that I was filming. So we're all went in a box and got put away. But we're off to Morocco next year, me and Brian. And uh, Brian wants to video the adventure. So I said I'd get it all out again and help him do that. So this is a bit of a test this morning. See if the kit still works, it's all been charged up. Cards formatted. We're using the old Drift Ghost S. Obviously don't make any more. So we'll see how we go on. So we're going to head to the Old Stores Motorbike Cafe in Ruthin. Cracking little biker place if you've never been. Most of our Sunday rides will head up here for a spot of breakfast before we head out for the day. That's if it's open. I haven't looked. We only got back from Tenerife last night about 11 o'clock. I've been itching to get out on the bike. I don't think it's been out since November. Very unusual for me. We were mad busy at the end of last year with work. And then we were both uh, got the dreaded lurgy for well, a good three weeks. So this is the first time out. I saw some pictures while we are away of uh, Valor Lake being very full. And the car park under about two foot of water. So I'm guessing we've had a fair bit of rain while we've been away. here the old store's calf which is shut okay no, doesn't look like we'll be eating there today so what we shall do is we'll carry on up here a little ways up here 
is the Ponderosa. Now we're heading up to one side of the Horseshoe Pass. This roundabout will do a left. That takes us up to the Ponderosa. We'll see if there's any luck there. They got cameras up here or not yet? Wouldn't surprise me. Appear to be open. We're back. So Ponderosa was open. No hot food. What's going on there? So Kit Kat and a cup of coffee. That's the lot. That's all we're having today. So it was only a short ride out. See if the camera worked. But, uh, blow the cobwebs off. So we shall now head back home. We'll head back down the other side of the Horseshoe Pass. riding on. Remember that it's to 30, 40, 40, 40. Crazy. So yeah, Tenerife. Really good. Nice weather. 25 degrees most of the day, drops about 19 at night, lovely. we there just over a week, week and a day. We hired a, a scooter, Suzuki Bergwin I think it was, 400cc. Plenty for the two of us. We had three days on that. Although one day was anywhere but the coast was overcast and rain so we went out for about an hour and uh, sacked it off went back to the hotel had a bit of chilling out wandered around a little walk so, the other two days were good did a bit of exploring that time of year though as soon as you get up into the mountains it drops real cold well real cold anywhere from 6 to about 11 degrees so it was a bit fresh we did take a camera with us um, somebody sent me a, 
a link, I think it was Mark from Leeds, to, uh, I think it was £200 off the uh, GoPro Hero 9. So I bought one of them, never used one before, don't know anything about them. Um, so we took that with us, see how that turns out, you might never see the light of day. Not very good with these things, but we tried to video a little bit of what we did. Again, more a test of the camera, really. motor museum down here so I think it's a fiver to get in it's obviously been a, a garage at some point but uh, the guys have acquired various things over the years um, I think it's a fiver to get in worth a look around for 20 minutes a few real old bikes there and Mainly cars, old motoring memorabilia, some one off stuff in there. I've ordered some cables off Amazon. So as I can try and get dual intercoms recorded on the camera. So a guy, there's a few few vloggers have done it on YouTube. Um, Bruce Teapot one, he's done a little video at, and a few others showing how to do it. So when the cables turn up for that, I'm going to have a go at that. Um, see how that goes badly probably because uh, neither me or Brian particularly enjoy the sound of our own voice so we don't tend to say a lot on camera um, but we're going to give it a go see what happens About 12 degrees when I set off this afternoon. Dropped to about 8 degrees now. Spot of moisture in the air. It uh, doesn't particularly bother us.
not much really to video it's wet raining lens is probably all soaked up by now so I'll, uh, switch you off listen to some music and uh, pop you back on just before we get on bye for now horrible bit of road this been like this for years potholed and greasy Also got new earplugs in today. I've never ridden with earplugs my whole life. I always find them a bit. Uh, I don't like the fact that everything's muffled. You can't hear the bike properly or what's around you. So, I had these ones done at the. NEC bike show. Plug into your comms and act like speakers rather than the speakers that are in your helmet. But they're also supposed to have a, a filter so it doesn't cut out all of the ambient noise around you. Uh, so I'll give them a go. I had prior to this, I uh, had some earbud earplugs made by Custom Fit Guards. Couldn't get on with them at all. They were uncomfortable to wear. Uh, one kept falling out, and the other one was just uncomfortable. Uh, in all fairness to them, they did say send them back and they'd have a look at them which I never did but they were just normal earplugs and I, I couldn't get on with them it was just too quiet um, so I'll give these a go my mate Simo put me onto this company so try these they seem quite good company quite good quality I can't remember who made them I'll have a look and let you know well, so far, comfy, nice sound coming through the speakers. I tend to listen to music while I'm riding. Uh, and I can still hear, although it's very quiet, I can hear what's going on around me. I can hear the engine. See, Joey's still out on this one. But as I'm slowly going deaf anyway, I thought I'd give them a go. Working 35 plus years in an engineering factory with no ear protection doesn't do you hear in the world of good. Add that to the motorbikes and the drag racing days, and uh, that's where you end up. That's it, I'm nearly home. I should go and chuck this on the old iPad. See what it's like. Catch you all later.